Riverside Park, where we are right now, is as dramatic as New York City itself. Originally undeveloped land became the New York Central Railroad. Frederick Olmsted, the designer of Central Park, came in and constructed what we see today. Then in the 1930s, Robert Moses came in, covered the rail line, added landfill, and put the Henry Hudson Parkway. That project was $100 million, twice that of the Hoover Dam. Why do I even tell you any of this? Because a football field away is 310 West 99th Street, an intimate co-op that resides your next home. When you first enter the home, you have a full bath right there. This elongated hallway has a layout, kind of feels like the suburbs. Distinctive rooms, very separate from each other. Let's go check out the rest. Welcome to the master suite. You have pocket doors leading into a well-proportioned bedroom. Dual closets on either end, a king-size bed, and this fully renovated half bath. The second bedroom, by the way, pocket doors, again, throughout. You have this cool little nook right here. You can leave it as a home office or build it out as storage. Moving into the second bedroom, two windows, a storage unit right here. The options are endless. You can leave it as a bedroom, you can convert it into a home office, or you can have it as a children's playroom. When I first entered the home, this wall of windows is what I fell in love with. It's dramatic, it makes a statement, and it has this little angle on two of the windows that's based on the building's architecture pre-World War I. You have exposed brick, a completely separate living space, and one of the biggest kitchens you're gonna see on the Upper West Side. You could easily build out a countertop, you have a table to eat at, and let me give you a little bit of a secret. Washer dryer. If you're looking for a two bed, one and a half bath on the Upper West Side, then call me, Charles Botenston from BPI. Have a great day.